I'm gonna teach this bear to drive. Ah, uh, so maybe drivers in Massachusetts are all just bears. Hi everyone, welcome in, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emmy. if you're new here. It's so good to have you here. Today we were watching Gravity Falls Season 1, Episode 14, Bottomless Pit, even with an exclamation point at the end. You know, we're nearing the end of Season 1, which is very exciting because I do think the like underlying tone of what is going on is increasing a little bit episode, episode by episode, but it's also kind of sad because there's only two seasons of this and I don't want it to end. I always get very, very sad when even a season ends. Last episode was super fun. Boss Mabel, we got to see what the Mystery Shack would be like with Mabel as boss. And she got to learn a little bit about being a tough boss from Stan, but Stan also learned a little bit about the word please and treating his employees nicely from Mabel. I think it's really sweet. It's like nice and funny, wholesome episodes like that that makes me really appreciate this show. I think this episode sounds interesting. Like if the gang falls into a bottomless pit, it's like how can we spend 20 minutes just in nothingness? But I'm sure in Gravity Falls, it's not going to be that simple. <laughs> So we're just going to go ahead and get into it. If you aren't already subscribed, I'd really appreciate that. Of course, the thumbs up is appreciated too. Also on my Patreon, I'm four weeks ahead. So if you're interested in early access and full uncut reactions, you can check out my link for that in the description below. All right, let's go. Land of ours, there are many great pits, but none more bottomless than the bottomless pit, which as you can see ah, here is... We are getting right into the bottomless pit. Uncle Stan, why are we here again? To dispose of things that we don't want. So long, Mystery Shack suggestion card. Oh no. They were just using it as a dumping ground. Or oh, there's something down there. What you got there, Mabel? Mabel. It's just my personal box. Literally, what's in that? Nothing worth wondering about. <laughs> oh! Goodbye forever! Now nah, I'm wondering about that. What the heck is in that? Be the one to point out that a bottomless pit is, by definition, impossible. Says you. Well, I guess we'll never. True. It wouldn't be a pit if it doesn't have a bottom, right? What would it be? A tunnel? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, they're in it. The goat's not. The goat can run the mystery shack while they're in there. I'm sure. I'm still wondering about that whispering at the beginning, too. Because there's no subtitles for that part. So, anyone want to scream some more? <laughs> Where are we? <laughs> oh. Wait, so they're falling that long? That would be so freaky. Second now. Isn't it also better to relax? Like, if you're in a car crash, you should relax your body and not brace for impact into a bottomless pit where we spent the rest of our natural lives go on come on dipper you can do <laughs> seems is so funny story i'd like to call voiceover oh my god is this gonna be like Ready? a little a bunch of stories i love this i love when shows do stuff like this what a crack so much we've already made a techno remix out of it nice to meet you my name's dipper pines <laughs> <laughs> What a bop, though. My favorite part. Stop it, guys! <laughs> yeah, that's good. Give me that. I'm not in my head along to that. Part-time adventure. Why did you spit on your hand? I don't rightly know. Hey, I remember you. Why do you? they do that? Isn't that like a thing to spit on your hand before you shake someone's hand? I know that's not the first time I've seen that. Not in real life, but like in shows. Good morning, Dipper. Whoa. I did Whoa, it. his I voice. Did. Who is that? It's my favorite Mabel. Ah! Who are you? Oh. Oh. That was my brother. That's a very fair response. I would probably do that too. I'm calling to tell you. What? Who is this? That's a pretty good prank <laughs> call. It's a good use of that voice. How you diddly doing, Zeus? Kill it! Oh. Kill it with fire! Everyone, please! <laughs> God. <laughs> Poor Dipper. All his voice is getting him is hit by different long objects. 
You'll see. I'll be right back after these messages. I, uh, I mean, <laughs> goodbye. That is like a weird commercial. Is that actually like a famous voice actor, I wonder? That voice anywhere. You're the guy who prank called me earlier. <laughs> oh, oh. No, no, I'm Way to go, Dipper. That's felt like a little Easter egg to see that those tough guys was eating. I think or drinking a Shirley Temple or like another fruity drink. Ah, I'm sure I can get a better voice in here somewhere. Cool. Now, how does he have all these things? <gasps> hey guys. Oh, no, you're back. <laughs> he chose his voice. I guess I realized that even though my voice might not be perfect, it's still mine, and I wouldn't change it for anything. Good. I was in this new vial. So what did you do with the rest of that? Yeah, potion? where did that I go? I dumped it in Stan's coffee. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Oh, what's so funny? I'm Grunkle Stan. Oh my God. Well, it's a good thing Dipper didn't take that. I liked that little message. Dipper's brain is funny. <laughs> But I'm starting to get bored. Seuss, tell a story. Really? Ooh, Seuss's time. To be like puns or whatever. <laughs> That's funny. I'll go down in pinball history with the likes of Sal, Gap, and of course, Pooh. Have you ever tried maybe? Stop, because when I was a kid, I always named myself Pooh <laughs> on those arcade games. Bullseye. Man, I miss you pinball. Pinball was so fun. Kids these days don't have it. Except on their iPads. <laughs> ah, that ain't right. You cheated. Oh yeah? Oh, what did I do about it? can tell. Oh, five more minutes. Oh, that's not a normal <gasps> alarm clock. He's in the pinball machine. And with them too. Oh yeah? Well, well, take this! Ow! And this! Oh. Ow, it hurts! Now, how's that even happening? Or just pinball wench distracting me. <laughs> oh, Seuss. He is easily distracted. Seuss? So are you, like, doing anything later, or...? Seuss. Right. Please. We got a mission at hand. Something ain't right here. Distraction! Distraction! Let me see where this is going. I like the distraction just being them yelling distraction. And it works. Oof. That's cool to see, like, the inside of the pinball machine is them all shrunk. That score is like my one big life accomplishment. What? If you don't hurry up, Seuss, we could die in here. you'll do more in your life, I'm sure. Would compare to the immortality of a high score. Seuss, are you out of your <laughs> mind? There you are. I'm not even sure that's immortal. That sign on the walls with the numbers was interesting. Like, what's the purpose of that in the pinball machine? Seuss! Seuss, please! Seuss, we're gonna die if you don't press that. Uh. Ah! Goodbye, high score! Ah! Yay! He's so brave. But now, since there's no high scores, he can get the first high score. I got a new life accomplishment now. Saving you dudes. Aww. <laughs> Aww. You think that pinball wench will call me? No, I think she's made out of cardboard. Where do you come up with this stuff? I'll tell you a good story. It's called Ooh. Grunkle Stan. We get a Grunkle Stan story. But I couldn't have done it without my sidekick, Footbot. Thank you for building me, Daddy. <laughs> what on earth is that? And what's happening? Oh, Come on, don't you do me dumb. What? Yeah, that, that was his whole was story. I no, that was awful. It had no problem and resolve. Truth Ache is a good name for this a story. Is gonna make me a I wonder if these were all like full episode ideas that they decided didn't call for a full episode length so they just put them all in one episode maybe i'm gonna teach this bear to drive ah uh, so maybe drivers in massachusetts are all just bears uh-huh nobody take it personally if you live there i have family there and it's terrifying well i can't <laughs> argue with dr medicine yeah who could no 
but I bet Zeus has. You know how he likes to eat. Come on, these lies are bad. <laughs> Waddles, what am I gonna do about oh, Uncle Stan? If I had Waddles, I would hold him like that too. Say oink one more time. Oink oink. Waddles, you genius! Waddles is a genius. Agree. Which force upon the wearer an inability to lie. Hmm. Oh, that's interesting. Is that real? Like, really in the book? Why does she have a floppy disk nightgown? I mean, it's cool, don't get me wrong, but it's interesting. I ate it because I have little to no concern for other people's possessions or emotions. Ooh. Ah. He's telling the truth. Scrambled meat, here it is. Stan, what do you do in secret every day? Scrambled your meat. Break? Isn't it supposed to be scrambled eggs? And go to the bathroom without washing my hands. Ew. Ew. Well, TMI. The truth is always a good thing. Hey, excuse mm. me, do you think. Oh, God. Uh, doing my yeah, taxes. is the truth always good? Uh, Grunkle Stan, <laughs> why didn't you write this? Thanks, because I write. Yeah, not sure we can submit that. Is this all there is? Is life just some kind of horrific joke without a punchline? And we're all just biding our time until the. No. Not this kind of truth. <sighs> that is haunting. We gotta take those teeth out. Turns out there is no doctor medicine in Gravity Falls. Uh -oh. You better have a darn good explanation. This could be bad. And smuggling endangered animals across multiple state lines. Also, you're fat. <laughs> oh no. To be completely and totally honest with you, our great uncle Stan is. is. Ugh. Oh, she's gonna have to lie? Hello, police station? Yeah, I forgot to tell him about my tax fraud. No, tax fraud. No. <laughs> Come on, we gotta get those teeth out. We have to find a place to get rid of these. In the bottomless pit. Oh. That box was like really big for just teeth though. Guys, do you see that? Oh, that looks like it. It is a tunnel. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, where, where are we? <gasps> That's so cool. <gasps> you fall into it and then you end up right back here. But what if they're in a parallel universe? We should keep to ourselves. Agreed. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, he'll, he'll come back. Fine. Yeah, he'll be fine. <laughs> That's a long time to fall, though. I wonder if it's a little bit fun, though. No? Oh, okay. Yeah. Sigh worthy, I would say. We're still here. I feel like this I'm making... Stupid. Like, there were numbers that time. And there were numbers like that in the pinball machine. Friends, thank you so much for watching Gravity Falls Season 1, Episode 14 with me. That was really fun. I mean, I do wonder if all these stories were like original ideas by the creator to be made into full length episodes, but maybe they thought for whatever reason they weren't long enough to, so they kind of squashed them all in one. I thought that was a very creative way to do so, if so. And if not, it was just fun to experience an episode with so many stories in it. I really liked that. That was fun. It was almost like we got three episodes in one. The numbers at the end. I know we've seen like letters at the end, but I'm not sure about numbers. Yeah, a lot to think about. I, and I don't even know where to begin with that kind of stuff. But yeah, thank you again so much for watching with me. And until I see you in the next video, I hope you stay hydrated, stretch your legs, Please don't get arrested and I will see you then. Goodbye.